Hello, lovely Gemini, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, welcome in. It's lovely to have you. Gemini, this is going to be your mid-February 2023 horoscope. We're going to take it to the end of February. I want to start with saying happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there, which we represent the lover's card. Wishing you all a lovely day. So, Gemini, let's go ahead and get some important dates out there before I start. I want to start with the shuffling of the Moonology to see, Gemini, the energies that are going to be playing a big role for us in the next two weeks or so. So, this is for mid-month. Today is the 13th. Mars enters the sign of Aquarius, okay, which is the masculine energy. So, this is a personal planet. Today is the day of change, okay? And it can come in unconventional ways now. It's the energy of our next vision, our next step, because Mars is entering the sign of Aquarius at zero degrees. Welcome, welcoming in the age of Aquarius. This is the territory that none of us have ever been in. This is a cycle that hasn't taken place for over 200 years. So like I feel, let's see what's coming in, okay? This is for the lovely sign of Gemini. Now, Gemini, we are ruled by Mercury. Mercury has been in Aquarius. I want to give you a heads up on your calendar. Pay attention. Mercury will be entering Pisces on the 23rd. So that's next Friday. This is where Mercury is at its fall, okay? This is where Mercury can bring in some visions that are difficult, what you're thinking, okay? There could be a sense of confusion. It could also bring in on a positive side, a higher level in your imagination, your, creation, your creative thoughts, okay? It also brings in a lot of compassion, Gemini. This is connecting with the subconscious where there'll be more comfort, more in your living arrangements that you'll want to be finding a little cozy place to nestle up with your creativity, pen to paper, Gemini. So creative ideas will be flowing. Oh, that's too many, but let's see. So we have a lot of cards that came out. We have Virgo, you are good enough. We have Leo, confidence will be your key. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing crescent moon, something big is building up here. Prosperity lies ahead, Taurus, right, the bull here. Gemini, the answers that you need are coming in here. So clarity, Gemini, is here. Take time to breathe out, okay? Take breaks, recharge your batteries, Gemini. Recuperate, relax, rest here, okay? And conclusions are within reach. You're about to reach a big goal, Gemini, a big goal of yours. Pay attention, Gemini. And the energy that I'm picking up already here is with the full moon eclipse energy. These are big shifts that are taking place. There's an intense transformation period that we are going through right now, okay? Breathing, prana, right? Super duper energy that's coming through right now. And Gemini, we have the twins here. We have moon and Taurus here. Now Taurus is uh, ruled by Venus, okay? This is where on the 16th, which is this Friday of this reading, February, Venus enters the sign of Aquarius at zero degrees. You can begin to enjoy, Gemini, the rewards of your success here, okay? This is where prosperity comes in now, Gemini. So there could be a change in your finances, a new experience, a new experience or something here that you've been creating, right? Uh, this is a filling here of Gemini. You're very gifted. You're very talented. The energy of Venus and Taurus is the energy of abundance, prosperity. So this is where Venus, when it enters Aquarius, it will be there with the masculine energy. Things are definitely building up, getting bigger here. There's an opportunity here, Gemini. Don't let it slip by. Do not let this opportunity slip by. Nothing ventured is nothing gained. Okay, your confidence is going to be key here, Gemini. So don't let opportunities pass you by right now because this is the marking of a significant period. We have no retrogrades, not until April. 
Mercury will be doing retrogrades in the fire signs this year. So the fire signs are about our confidence and ourselves, right? The potential that lies within our spirit here to be inspired to create something new now, right? The sun in Leo is about our communication skills, okay? This is about the heart. Leo rules the heart here. It's about the solar plexus act activation here, okay? It's about that fire within, right? This is about the Holy Spirit, that spark within us, of us carrying that torch now, which is going to be lit, okay? So there's an activation here. Now, we have Virgo energy also here. Now, this is our sister brother sign, however you want to talk about it. I have two Virgo daughters, so we always got a Virgo around us to help us, okay? For Gemini, you might be feeling like you're not good enough, like you don't have the abilities or the capabilities, but Gemini, her eyes are closed. You are so humble, Gemini. You are somebody here that very much needs to know your responsibility is about your well-being, knowing and working on yourself. It's about knowing I am worthy to receive. We've been programmed to believe we are not worthy when we are all powerful, equally, multidimensional beings experiencing a human life. This is the vessel, Queen of Pentacles. This is about empowerment. Like I feel, Gemini, you're very humble, you're very practical, you're very motherly, or, you know, that feeling here of mothering yourself, whether you're a masculine or a feminine here. This is the yin energy here. This is a feeling of grateful, humble, okay, responsible. It's about building beauty out of ashes here. So for a lot of us, the energy is going to be getting a little bit intense this week, like I'm feeling here. But it also is telling me, Gemini, whatever this is now with your confidence, this could be going off on your own entrepreneurship, right? And we have the energy here of Venus and Taurus, okay, with Gemini. This is very Venusian energy, but we have the three queens here. We have, we have, I'm sorry, we have the Empress here. So the Empress Gemini lets me know here, okay? This is about prosperity here. Don't, don't let other people's opinions hold you back anymore here, right? The bull is the energy of Venus and Taurus here. It's your world now. And these are big shifts here, Gemini, that are building in. The Empress is loved, knowing self-love, self-respect, self-worth, right? For some of us, we need to work on our self-worth, okay? This is going to be a time where you need to do that meditation every day. I have to do it, so I started it off in the morning here. This is a how to build strong faith muscles within yourself, filling the worthiness within yourself now, which will bring in that willpower, right? Feeding in that fire, which gives us that confidence, which is our willpower, our strength, okay? So there's a definitely energy here, Gemini, of the harder that you put, it's like, not the harder, it's about the energy's gaining momentum. Use this, this, this sudden energy that's coming in to take action on your dreams, right? This is a card of speed, action. Upgrades, sudden, unexpected, okay? This is the energy now where things begin to take off, Gemini, okay? Now, my like I'm feeling here, and with Gemini energy to lovers, for some of us, like I said, happy Valentine's Day, lovers, okay? Gemini, by your season, by our birthday season, we are going to be absolutely lovable because Jupiter will be in our charts. Now, let's talk about this month. Mercury, I mean, Jupiter will be with us, blessing us for one year into 2025. One year. Now, Jupiter is the guru. Jupiter is about the time is now. We don't, I don't feel the energy here of Jupiter, but with this eclipse energy, it's going to be about you and embracing something here now and taking that new approach and getting that ambition inside of yourself that tells you, this is my next vision. This is, this is something here that you've been putting the work in right? You, this is the conclusion. This is the point. This is your, the end of like a feeling here of a goal. You're reaching a goal here, Gemini. So the passionate energy can begin to run high while we are in Aquarius. Okay. So the focus is about focusing on maximizing your creative energy and don't get lost in the fantasy world. Okay. It, it, it's definitely about when we get into that Pisces here. Okay. 
you know, there's a reality check here. We see things bigger now, right? But we can build a strong network now where dreams can come true, Gemini, here. We're finding the answers and the conclusions that you need. There's definitely help that's all here. There's support around you, Gemini. So let's stay focused right now. Now, let's see about this energy here, about the energy with your brain, right? The mercury rules the brain. It rules the nervous system, motor skills. Pay attention to this. It's also definitely the communicator, the gods of the communication, right? Mercury. It also flows through commerce, learning, language, okay? It's flow current, but this one's a good one that I picked up on. Gemini also, the energy is quick changeable, hot to cold. The energy can feel fluid or changeable. It takes on the energy of the planets that it's with. Let me say this again. It can be quick change because the planets that Mercury's sitting with are Pluto, are Mars, okay? So this is definitely, and Pluto's ancient ruler is Mars. So in Aquarius, like I feel, the energy is very fluid. It's very changeable. But once again, Mercury, our ruler, can take on the energy of these planets now, okay? So I just wanted to put out there here. It's very important to do a lot of writing, a lot of reading during this time to process the information, the downloads, the upgrades that are coming in right now. So I just wanted to put that out there. Now, let's see, Gemini, what we have. This reading is just going to be a little bit longer because I want, this is a very big month. This is going to be setting us up for the next three months, the energy that plays out now, okay? So let's start with Gemini's overall energy when it comes to career, finances, general messages for Gemini. This is when it comes to career, finances, money because we see prosperity is coming to you now gemini okay so this is definitely could be the energy here of things are going to be speeding up here for you this is for gemini career money overall finances career gains career goals for gemini sun moon rising venus north moon okay now, remember, we are being initiated right now with Mars, <laughs> Mars and Aries and that page of pentacles. Don't let this offer slip from your hands. This page of pentacles can be an opportunity here for definitely dealing with a boss, a GM, an owner of a business, or this is your baby here, okay? Help is here, Gemini. This could come in the feeling here of getting a pay raise, a promotion, a step up for some of you. This is a new opportunity here. This is the message. Yes, Gemini, you got it here. So this is definitely about your career, your finances. Now, Mars and Aries is right now today making that change. So this is about being ambitious about the next opportunity, which is right here, Gemini. It's here with Mars. Wow. So, Page of Pentacles and Mars and Aries, the next level. Wow. Okay. So, let's see. This is a solid foundation with Mars, the masculine energy, right? We all have masculine and feminine. So, for some of you, with Aries and the North Node and Chiron, okay, we'll be also activating this reading. So let's see what's going to come out for career and finances. At the bottom of the deck, there's the page of pentacles. This is the opportunity of a miracle I'm hearing, Gemini. This is definitely the message of, yes, you have. If you left a resume, if you're looking for on the job market or a financial opportunity, this is a golden opportunity with the page of pentacles. Okay. Your card that's coming out on the top of the deck is the knight of swords, Gemini. Like I'm feeling here, it's going to come in quick quickly okay so it feels like gemini this is an opportunity of a gain okay it's a feeling here of an opportunity you won't let you won't you don't want to let pass by here is what i'm feeling and right underneath the ace of cups is and jupiter self-love baby self-worth okay for a lot of us when it comes to this business project like i'm feeling there's nothing more powerful than self-love unconditional love 
loving what you do. The Ace of Cups is an opportunity now. It's a gift from on high. The cups also repre represent our intuition. With Jupiter now Gemini, uh, this opportunity is big. It's bigger than you can ever imagine. With Jupiter blessing at 12, like I felt 12 years. Jupiter's orbit is 12 years when it enters our sign in May. So our birthday season is here. It feels like this Ace of Cups Gemini is saying, this is your heart's desire. Whatever your heart desires, Gemini, here you go. So we're moving into the ninth house now, Gemini, for the next two decades with Pluto transiting into our ninth house. This is Jupiter representing higher education, philosophy, fortune, fame, fame luck. Jupiter also is the sign of Sagittarius here. Okay, this is where you'll find the most luck. Jupiter also represents foreign travel, okay, foreign lands, foreign countries. Get your passports ready, Gemini. This is going to be matters around the ninth house, okay, with Jupiter here is the ruler of that ninth house here. So your whole world is about to change, Gemini. This is a big shift. This is bringing in more expansion and growth along your journey, right? With Jupiter is a higher understanding. It's also an inner understanding. Coming into alignment with higher learning, education, like I felt, and tons of spiritual growth. Gemini, for a lot of you, you're seen on a platform. This is gaining public recognition. You know, after the Six of Wands comes out, this is somebody, Gemini, telling me, you've been through a battle. You've been through a war and back, okay? And now with the movement that's coming in, there is a definitely achievement and reward. Jupiter is blessing you, Gemini, okay? So like I'm feeling for a lot of you, Gemini, this is not the opportunity that you want to let slip by. The Knight of Swords, air energy, swift, quick moves. Aquarius is fast, okay? Being an Aquarius, you'll also need, Gemini, to double check all of your emails, uh, text before you send them, proofread, be extra careful, okay, with the times and the schedules that we're on this week. Things are definitely amping up, moving very quickly here with the Knight of Swords here. This is about rushed in communication. This is about definitely haste. A lot of action is here that's going quickly, very fast, big shifts. And it feels like there is definitely nothing holding you back anymore here, Gemini. Sun card. Queen of Cups. It's your day. This is your time to shine in your career. Let the sun shine on you, Gemini. Like the Queen of Cups is loyalty. It is compassion. It is the energy here of calm, cool, and collective. When it comes to the mother of the zodiac, this is the energy of the feminine energy, watery, right? With the sun shining in. So there's a feeling here of whatever this is now, you know it's your soul purpose. You know it's your soul calling. The 28th of this reading of February, Mercury and Kissimmee, I'm sorry, during the 26th through the 28th, there's going to be Mercury having a Kissimmee with a triple conjunction at nine degrees in Pisces. This is about your Dharma. This is about the meaning of your life, the meaning of wisdom. This is also for a lot of you Geminis. This is about your third marriages. This is big shifts, big resolve, big energy that's sweeping through, bringing a positive burst of sunshine here, Gemini. So the sun is saying, use this energy now to create, like I feel, Gemini, a very strong foundation. Trust your intuition. It's on high with the sun card, okay? This is spiritual downloads coming in. This is also a feeling here where the there's freedom. You see the little baby on the horse, which represents purity and longevity. This is a card of longevity, Gemini. This is a card of Leo, your expression. And about not even holding on to the reins, but letting go, being a kid again, expressing yourself, expressing your happiness, your joy with the sun card. It's a very positive energy, Gemini, for you. This opportunity lights you up. It's going to light your world up, Gemini, this opportunity that's here when it comes to your financial life, your career, your goals in life. When it comes to a project, this could be family for a lot of you. 
This could be definitely, you could be connecting. For some of you, this could be a child, the page of pentacles. You're hearing great news here. There's definitely a fated event that's turning here in your favor, Gemini, okay? And like I felt, a reward. Queen of Cups can be, Gemini, it represents your mother figure. So this this energy that's going to play out for us in February, think about your, your mother. Think about mothering yourself, okay? Most of us wouldn't think about it. But there is a feeling here of giving yourself that energy here of soothing energy, mothering yourself, mothering your soul, okay? Because this is a soul calling that's coming in and it's coming quick, quickly. Show me Gemini's energy. Show me Gemini's energy. Yeah, there's the Seven of Cups and it wants to come out in reverse. There's going to be temporary illusion delusion with Mercury entering Pisces on the 23rd. Remember, this is where Mercury's fall is. Even though Pisces is a fellow mutable sign, this is about paying attention, Gemini. There's some kind of a tactic here, right? Diversion, okay? Trust your intuition. It feels like with the sun beaming down on the Queen of Cups, you are listening to your intuition. Now we have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Pay attention, Gemini. Don't get sucked in to something here that's temporary, okay? This is about don't get stuck or trapped into a cycle that no longer is for your highest good. Queen of Cups, Sun. Trust your gut on this one. This is definitely Gemini. You have somebody coming around. It's like 1-800-BABE, like the phone calls after 10 p.m. It's like good time Charlie or whatever. You know, Charlie could be a woman or a man's name. Is coming back around here, okay? And this person is going to give you some kind of temporary illusion, delusion. Don't fall for this trap, Gemini. This is Heartbreak Hotel, okay? This is somebody, like I feel, Gemini, that's in and out. This is an X, okay? This is an X. This is an X here, Gemini. When it comes to, like I feel, stay focused on your work at this time. That's the time to spend. Because now it's going into love here with this reading, okay? When it comes to de definitely an offer that might be like, you know what, it says all that gold is doesn't glitter. Also in your career, be aware of this, okay? Because there could be uh, something here that's a, diver a diversion, okay? Trying to, trying to divert your energy because you're focus focusing right now, Gemini, on your career and you're having a glow up in that area. The sun is shining on you. So pay attention, starve the negativity, right? If It's also like if something looks too good to be true, Gemini, trust that it is, right? Because this could be some, some grief that comes with this. This could be like an opportunity here where it could be impulsive because I'm seeing the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Don't make any impulsive decisions right now, okay? Because this is that temporary diversion that's here. Show me what's coming in for Jack. Look, Knight of Wands. Hold the fort, right? Nine of Wands. You're already like the wounded warrior. So who? here's what's coming up. The North Node is going to be conjuncting in Aries, which we have here, okay, in Chiron. It's going to bring up some pain from the past, a past X, okay? And it's going to bring this up. There was a lot of loss over this, Ten of Pentacles, for some of you. You had children with this person or you were married because Queen of Cups is a family, you know, somebody who has children, a family dynamic doesn't have to be. For some of you, we're talking about, you know, an energy here around your mother could be also because I got Libra with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? There's a justice that's being done here, Gemini. Like I feel when it comes to a family dynamic, it feels like Gemini, there's going to be a lot of success in all areas around your family, around your home, around your career, Gemini. And this is what the universe is bringing in. Venus is definitely doing a cleanup, Gemini, after something here happens with Venus and Empress. And there's gonna be you celebrating, Gemini. So pay attention on celebrating your life, okay? Because you got 10 of cups here. You got 10 of pentacles. Let me put this card down. We got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So right now, Gemini, you're in this place right now, currently in your emotions. 
Well, with the Queen of Swords, is it's a feeling here of let your heart and your mind be best friends right now. They should be in equal balance. Balance your heart and balance your thoughts, your mind. Bring them into balancing, which will bring in justice here. This is about karma, okay? This is a card of karma. We have definitely, Gemini, a path that's opening up that's brand new for you when it comes to connections and love. There's going to be a new cycle, Gemini, for you that you're going to be celebrating a great reward. Now, Gemini, it feels like definitely there could be somebody here that's very intimidated by your power. But I feel that, Gemini, you're very appreciated, very loved, very adored, very supported by a loving, successful family that's around you, right? It also feels like you are the mother, you are the head of the household, okay? So say you're, you're, a, fem, you're a man, let's just say you're a masculine energy. This is your feminine aspect. This tells me that you are now, there's, there's definitely a, a higher energy of a mother that's standing out here, okay, with the empress energy here, right? The empress energy is also the feeling of, what's the word I'm looking for? Admired, admired, okay, for her creative gifts, for her nurturing, fertility here, okay? It feels like, Gemini, this is going to be a big celebration for you in, in February here. This can mean, Gemini, like I feel for a lot of you here, there's somebody here. Like I feel with the Seven of Cups, I feel you have options, but I do feel there's somebody coming back around after an ending, okay? Like I'm saying here. Now, it feels like, Gemini, you could smell bullshit a mile away. You could read these people like a book. You got the stars on your head. Remember that. This is your glow up, Gemini. Now in February here. Venus comes in now with this energy here of higher insights. Problem solving. Taking a new approach on what she's creating for you, Gemini. What you're inventing. Whatever you're inventing, whatever you're creating right now. The sun is shining on you. This is positive energy, okay? When it comes to your foundations, Gemini, this is built to last, what you're building now. It's solid. It's in the physical and it's in the emotional. It's a feeling of fulfillment, happiness, and joy. It's like the rainbow bridge. You see, there's definitely a family dynamic, three generations of family here. There's children, okay? So this is the energy here of 1010, double blessings. Double blessings, okay? By you knowing the truth, okay, and you calling the shit out, like look at her arm. She's got a wrist of protection all around her. Her head is out of the clouds. You're thinking very logical, Gemini. You're taking a balanced approach, and yeah, you might be blowing the horns around here, okay? Like you're not, this is going to be a feeling here of taking a more tender approach. You might not want to rock the boat here, okay? But it feels like whatever's happening could come up with some anxiety, some tension that's been building up here with the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the one you haven't been communicating on. It's like if your person, okay, left you for a third party situation, this person hasn't communicated. They're in deep anxiety, deep regret here. The person that they're with, the karmic, okay, is definitely a connection where they're in and out. They're going back and forth. One minute they're in, one minute they're out here, okay? So there's some kind of karmic situation that's been here. No communication, right? Third party situation, a karmic triangle here, right? And the nine of swords, lots of stressed out energy, lots of anxiety here. The hermit is definitely feeling the loss, Virgo energy here. So this is the energy here of going through the dark night of the soul. This is a feeling of feeling left out in the cold, okay? It's like definitely there is somebody here that was very aggressive, very demanding here, right? Mars and Aries or Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo energy, okay? But it feels like the emperor is definitely having sleepless nights, okay, over what they've done. There's a lot of regret here, okay, like I feel. Now, what do I want? Yeah, seven of swords, look. This is definitely somebody here that was a liar, somebody who stole, you know. I call it the con artist. I call it the thief card, seven of swords. Somebody here that got away with something. And they're carrying all the swords with them. So they're carrying all the definitely uh, drama, 
You're carrying all of the gaslighting, the chaotic, trashy, hurtful words, the reckless, the lashing out. They're carrying it with them. That's how they look when they're running away from you. See? And now they're looking back at you and now they say new love is here for you. Knight of Cups, right? Because it does feel like definitely there could be option seven of cups. There's some kind of confusion, third party situation, third party dynamic here. There's definitely new love. And the one from your ex is seeing this new love coming in. And they're carrying the swords, remember here. And they're holding a grudge against you, Gemini. So be aware of that. Now, show me what's going on in love here for Gemini. Since it's Valentine's Day, we'll get the epiphany. From Serendipity on YouTube, if you're interested in this deck, you could, you could go to her channel. It is Serendipity. And this deck is called the Epiphany. This is the Epiphany. Now, we have Libra here, energy. There's going to be a waning moon in Libra on the 26th, okay? And then on that day, Mars will skip square Jupiter. There can be intensity around money matters, you know, about career gains here. This nine of wands. Be careful. Let's see what Gemini is going through with love. What is the energy for Gemini for mid-February 2024? If I said 2023, sorry. This is 2024. Fears and anxiety. Yeah, somebody here is going through a dark night or so. They have deep regrets over this. Okay. Yep. Somebody here bites their nails. It's time to put the past in the past, Gemini. Don't look back, okay? Stay focused on your work. There's big shifts, big happiness that's coming in here. What was behind you now, Gemini, like I feel, is now no comparison to what is coming in. That's the blessings that are here. That's what I'm feeling. I'm seeing train tracks for some of you. Yeah, these scars and wounds, they run deep. Okay, there's definitely a feeling here of, I feel Gemini, that what you're doing with Venus cleanup, okay, is you're healing. You're healing any scars, any generational karma, generational trauma. You've done it. The Empress just trumps all the cards on this table because this is the, the divine feminine. It's like a feeling of empowerment, okay? It's a feeling here of now you could sit back and enjoy your independence, okay, because you've made big changes and your experiences. This is about knowing your worth, knowing your value in this world, declaring you are a sovereign daughter or son of the most high God, right? This is about a big blessing here, okay? Now, this person's also could be Gemini, listening to love songs, and every time they hear a love song from the past, they think of you, okay? You have somebody here reminiscing about you. I'm also picking up, this could be somebody else. You got seven of cups. Yeah, no more bad decisions, okay? See? So this was a badass, you know, the Knight of Wands can be, okay, somebody who, you know, has no, you know, no limits, right? This is somebody who's in and out. They, they make foolish decisions. Believe in divine timing and don't get caught up in your emotions, Queen of Cups. Okay, for some of you, you could be feeling like you're drowning in your emotions. And there's a love drought, okay? There's definitely a love drought here. It's like, but the sun is bursting on you, Gemini, right now. So it feels like that drought is over. Yeah, seriously, that drought is over. Because there's enough water here, Gemini, like I failed to fill up the whole tank. We're 90% of water, Dr. Japanese Emoto, right? Blessing your water that you drink, 10 of cups, right? This is the ultimate life, Gemini. This is coming into alignment with divine orchestration, alignment, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Look at that spread. Like this is Gemini happily ever after energy, okay? There's some kind of rekindling for some of you. Somebody here that's coming in, I feel you have two different people here for some of you. Okay, it feels like, yeah. What's going on with this other person with, that's coming in a positive? As soon as I said it. Reciprocity. Okay. There's a compromise. It feels like there's two people here, Gemini. 
We have seven of cups, three of swords. Pay attention. There is somebody here that's positive. Adjustments are being made. There's reconciliation here, okay? Because I'm seeing it, yeah. Somebody here was sitting in a puddle of self-pity. And that wasn't you. This person now sits in self-pity because they see you moving on. Yeah, we are divine counterparts. You have a divine counterpart approaching you, Gemini. Okay? I feel you're doing a lot of healing of your heart chakra here. Okay? A lot of healing. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving them so that it doesn't hold you back. Because now you're getting ready to rise, Gemini. Like, I'm feeling February. Holy moly. This is your next level. A new beginning when it comes to love. A new beginning when it comes to stability, success in all areas of your life. Okay. This is this is a feeling, Gemini, here of you value what you're putting in to Sun Card, Queen of Cups. Okay. So stay focused, Gemini. Okay. Let's get some messages from the romance angels and see what this is in love that's approaching my lovely Gemini's here. You're making some kind of decision, some kind of conclusion that's going to be re reached. When we see the lover card here, right? Somebody here what didn't have courage that you were dealing with. It could have been a Leo. doesn't have to be. But somebody here lacked courage, lacked accountability in this relationship. For you, like I'm saying, Venus and Taurus, pros prosperity lies ahead, Gemini. And knowing your worth is everything in this world. Because that's how you attract things to be what? Worthy for. We attract it into our life. She's a receiver. Libra, Venus and Libra or, or Taurus. Receiving, getting ready to receive a big celebration is coming in. The answers that you need are coming in. This is lovers. You ha could have a conscience choice here between two people. But I feel communication is coming in. And your true love is here. Yeah. There is a true love here. Your divine counterpart is here. This is the romance of a lifetime, Gemini. Okay. There's a lot of chemistry, a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. Very soon. Clearly, look. Very soon, clearly decide what and who you want, right? But like I'm feeling here, Gemini, okay? This energy here is saying you're attracting it right now by calling in your soulmate. So very soon, yep. And your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations will help bring you together. So start visualizing. My person and me, we trust one another. We have a healthy connection, my person loves me and I love my person only. My person only has eyes for me. My person is trustworthy. My person is tr is generous. My person loves me for who I am. I am whole and complete here. This is attracting in a divine sacred union, a unified love, a, uni a union that's in alignment with the universe. It's an alignment with the universe. The universe is aligning this for you, Gemini. For some of you, this could be third marriages, okay? For some of you, congratulations. Like, I feel you're about, like, I'm feeling this person that's coming in towards you very soon, true love. This will be the person that you'll be settling in. And I did say two decades. So I see 20 years of success here. I feel that this is going to be children. This is somebody, like, that wants to have children with you, a family. There's a lot of growth here in this reading for you, Gemini, today. So don't be tempted, Gemini. Don't be tempted here with the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Swords here, okay? These are temporary highs and lows. This is somebody who is a waste of time, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. So I'm going to leave the reading there, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all of your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. And by hitting the bell below, you will get all of my readings when I post them. Have a blessed month. We'll see you soon.